Hello, and welcome to Campus to Community, the Columbia Basin College news magazine that lets you know what's happening at CBC and how the college may better serve you, the community. I'm your host, Don Alford, CBC Assistant Director for College Relations. Would you like to go to college, but work and family makes it difficult for you to travel to the campus regularly? On today's show, we'll talk about e-learning and determine if taking online classes may be the answer for you. But first, let's learn about a resource that addresses the obstacles and special needs of low-income students and persons with disabilities. We will also talk with a visually impaired student to learn firsthand how he is benefiting from the Resource Center. All this and more when we return. The AOT department definitely helped me be prepared for my career. I would not be prepared to do the job that I do now. Everything in my current career is computer-based. Without my software knowledge, I would not be able to do my job. I'm very, very excited. I feel like I definitely could not have done this without the support of the teachers. I feel like they walked me through the entire way. They're here for the students. Welcome back. CBC wants all of its students to be successful, but for some, personal educational barriers may interfere with their pursuit of an education. Joining us now is Peggy Buckmiller, the director for the Resource Center. Welcome, Peggy. Thank you, Don. Well, we understand that thousands of students are um, served by the Resource Center each year. Tell us, who are these students that are served by you? The students that are served by the Resource Center are students with barriers to their education and it might be a student with a disability, it might be a low income student, it might be a veteran who's returning to school, it might be the adult learner um, who's trying to re-enter school, or it might be someone who's on labor and industries and getting retrained. Okay. So what services do you offer to those who um, are a documented disability? Students with disabilities uh, uh, that come into CBC and attend our program at the Resource Center, they can get a variety of accommodations, whether that's for testing or within the classroom setting. And some of those might include testing accommodations, note takers, enlargements of materials. It might include alternate media, such as books in an audio format. A lot of times we have students who come in that are struggling. They don't know why they're struggling. So we bring them to the Resource Center and have them go through a learning needs assessment where we can assess why are they struggling and give them the assistance they need. Sometimes we realize that these are students who may have a disability that was never diagnosed. So with a grant that we have through our own ASB at CBC, we are able to um, offer some outside testing by a professional so those students can then come back and see if they actually do have a learning disability. That is a definite great resource. I understand it's a, it's a student that um, Deborah that was able to be benefited by that? Yes, we've actually had a number of students every year that we have tested and uh, Deborah Williams was one I know that you recently met and um, she was an adult in her 50s who came back to school and then didn't even know she had a learning disability, was able to be tested, found out she did and went from a very low grade point average to now she's getting close to a 4.0. Very good. Uh, low income students also have a number of challenges. How can the Resource Center help them? Well, low-income students can also come into the Resource Center. We have a variety of services for them that are financially based. Some of those are child care assistance, free bus passes, travel assistance for low-income students coming more than 25 miles to CBC. Uh, we also adopt families out at Christmas time and the holiday season so that they can have assistance for their families. So we have a variety of financial programs that can help those low-income students make it in college. Okay, so if there's a student out there or a potential student that would need these resources, how do they go about getting them? What they need to do is just come into our office. We're located in the Hockey Noon building or the H building on campus. and Or they can call us and they can reach our office by calling 542-4412 and they can call and make an appointment with anybody in the office. All right. Up next, CBC student and future lawyer, Jose Diaz. Watch how he personally benefits from the Resource Center. <laughs> 